Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sandeep Madan. Let us discuss a question from anatomy which is recalled piece and uh, it was asked in the recent exam. And uh, this is the question, a patient has been brought to the emergency after the road traffic accident and on examination the patient is uh, unable to uh, flex the forearm, supinate the forearm and also there is a history of the fractures of the humerus, multiple fractures are there and there is loss of sensation in the lateral aspect of the forearm and the uh, with nerve injured is asked in the question what are the choices a nerve median nerve radial and the musculocutaneous now looking at the history and the options answer is pretty obvious that is musculocutaneous nerve let us discuss the anatomy behind it and what is the musculocutaneous nerve when we see the musculocutaneous nerve it is having two components muscular and cutaneous so this is basically muscular nerve and cutaneous nerve but it is muscular in arm and cutaneous in forearm right when we say it is muscular in arm it is going to supply the these three muscles in the anterior compartment of the arm that is biceps muscle brachialis muscle and the coracobrachialis muscle important point about the coracobrachialis that it is actually pierced by the musculocutaneous nerve in fact during the dissection we identify the nerve and the uh, muscle by this fact that it is getting pierced by the nerve right now let us look at their normal actions see biceps is alone it is a powerful supinator and uh, biceps along with brachialis it does the flexion of the uh, forearm at the elbow joint right so in case of injury to the musculocutaneous nerve obviously what motor loss you are going to expect you will be seeing that there will be no flexion or an ability to flex and also the part of uh, one greater part of supination will also be affected yes and what about the cutaneous nerve of the forearm after having supplied the muscular part of the arm the nerve becomes continue as it will continue as a lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm right so if we look at the muscular cutaneous nerve here let me show you this what we can see is the coracoid process and from here we can see the coracobrachialis is taking origin along with that the short head of biceps brachii and this is the long head of biceps brachii which is coming from the supraglenoid tubercle this long head and the short head together they are making the belly of the biceps this is coracobrachialis and you can see that this nerve is actually piercing the muscle as I told during the dissection we identified by this important factor that this nerve will actually uh, pierce the muscle right so what is this muscle coracobrachialis also we can see it's coming from the coracoid process and what is the nerve musculocutaneous nerve now it will be piercing the coracobrachialis after that uh, along with that it will supply the musculocutaneous uh, the coracobrachialis muscle and after that we can say that this nerve is traveling between the biceps and the brachialis right and this nerve after having supplied the coracobrachialis biceps and the brachialis that means the whole muscular part in the anterior compartment of arm is done and then the nerve will continue as the lateral cutaneous nerve the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm and here in this diagram we can say this is the territory of the musculocutaneous nerve right so that was the question that was the anatomy behind the question and answer is pretty obvious that is musculocutaneous nerve Thank you very much everyone and keep on following Dance Delhi YouTube channel for the discussion of other questions. Thank you very much.